Welcome back to my playthrough of XCOM Enemy Within Long War. This is approximately episode 60 something, possibly episode 64 if I've got the numbers right, but I'm not entirely sure, and I can't remember where I left it. Oh, okay, there's a council mission, no, sorry, a covert data recovery mission, which I'm guessing is an exalt mission. Next, experimental warfare due to come up. Satellites, a lab being built. Okay, I've got a vague memory of where I left off, so let's go straight on to the Exalt mission. The covert oper operative has finished setting up the encoder and transmitter, but Exalt is inbound. Protect the intel assets by eliminating all Exalt forces in the AO. Sorry about that, my voice was going for a second. I need to have a quick cough to actually get my voice back. Alright, so it's uh, I can send an eight-man team and it's protect the encoder and transmitter, which gives me more money. We are confident that money. you will handle this matter with discretion. A single large building that will require entry. Well, as always, we'll try and find an officer to take. We'll take Molly Wood. Good old Guadalupe is about to get promoted, so he can go. I don't really need uh, what do I call it? engineers, because I'm not trying to capture any of these guys. Because if you do actually capture an exalt with an arc thrower, they um, suicide. Just kind of funny to watch the first time you do it, but I'll take that medic as well just for the experience for her. Uh, it will take the point to our Garnier. So I've got a scout, a gunner, an extra medic, an infantry, and I've got room for three more. Don't need the engineers, don't need a second scout. I'm going to take Luke Power Ballad because he's almost ready for another promotion. We're going to take Bull Fernandez because my assaulters don't seem to go on enough missions. In which case, we'll take one of these two as well. We'll take John Cambridge Fowler because I like his voice. Yeah, they are arbitrary reasons for selecting troops for them to go on a mission. You're going because I like your voice. Yeah, that's something that wouldn't happen in normal military. Uh, okay, laser sight because I don't need an arm thrower. We can take an auto laser. I don't want to bring a sniper with me. Oh well. The bullet to our Laser rifle. Good old power ballad. And I realised, after looking it up, that I have been making a mistake of describing Luke Power Ballad as coming from Australia. Is not. He's from New Zealand. He is a Kiwi. Although I don't believe Kiwis actually like being described as Kiwis. He is from New Zealand. I checked the difference in the flags, and... In fact, I will go back to him in a second. There was Right. The New Zealand flag has four... four stars only on it. They're red with a white border, and they have five-point stars. An Australian flag has a total of six six stars on it, one bigger one over here and five on the right side of the flag, which are white. So this guy is from New Zealand. So I apologise all the times I have mistaken him to being from Australia. I apologise to all Australians and all people from New Zealand for not knowing their flags correctly, which I should considering I lived in Australia for four years. So there I have no excuse apart from the fact Touch I'm an idiot. Down. More honestly, I'm an ignoramus. Mexico in hopes of eliminating an exalt cell in the region. Strike one will need to assist our operative in recovering the intel from the field. Okay, this is Operation Banished Thunder, and it was meant to be a building that required a large building that required entry. That's not a large building that requires entry. Sometimes the descriptions are definitely off.
Our operative was in position to transmit the data they'd acquired when Exalt forces moved into their AO. The encoder is currently shielding our transmitter's position, but if Exalt manages to hack the encoder, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. If they hack both, any hope we had of recovering the data intact will be lost. Objectives updated. Okay, normally I just protect the transmitter on this type of mission, or used to, because I didn't realize you got more money for yes, protecting Commander. both the encoder and the transmitter. Here they come. The problem is, with this map being so small, to protect the encoder, I've got to basically run to the other side of the map, which means I've got to face everybody that's on the map to get there, which is going to be... A tad problematic. It should make for a nice gunfight with a bit of luck, but it's still going to be a tad problematic. I haven't noticed anybody who's carrying a rocket on their back so far. Possession confirmed. But we're going to try it. It may. Eyes on multiple targets. Yep. There's a second pod of exalt that I've just run into, so that's about seven of them so far, I think. He's a rifle. He's definitely on the list of people to kill in a hurry. Roger, tracking. Stop calling me Roger. That's an exalt back there with about 13 hit points on. See you in hell. So can't, no, I can't quite get to that cover without and still be able to shoot. Can however get to Damn. that cover. Like I say, I'm going to try and save the encoder. I may fail. It may even cost me some people. Hopefully it won't. But one never can be 100% sure. Oh, you're a assaulter. In theory, we can run and gun you. That's what I get for not paying attention and not realizing that to start with. So, it might put you in a bit of danger, but... I would say danger is your middle name, but no, bully is your middle name. Oh, and now we found a guy with a rocket. Oh, and there's a guy with a rocket there too. Okay. We'll take the first guy with a rocket. When we cycle back to him. Right. You. Commander, Exalt forces are in position to hack the encoder. If we don't secure that equipment, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. Yes, I am aware of that fact. I am, however, doing my best to get over there and do something useful. This guy is going to go on a really nice long run and get... Oh, it's John Fowler. My, the man I selected for this mission because I like his voice. Running. Yeah, he's running a really long way, but at least he's going to end up in a corner. And you are my target of choice. And he's dead. Did just enough damage to kill him. Yes, I... You may actually have spent some time running away because troops are all going in the other direction. Location but confirmed. the officer in charge can run that far forward. At least he didn't fire his rocket at me. Now he's going to throw a grenade. Never good. Because that blew up my cover. Which could cause you serious problems. Yes. Oh. A lot of serious problems by the looks of it. Okay. John Fowler is pretty close to dying. Well, I don't care, we're Copy that. still doing the the march to glory here. No, I 
want to shoot not him, not him, not him, I want to shoot him. Because he carries a big bucket. Yeah, not we're not gonna move you yet. Right. I'm on the move. It looks like Exalt deployed a series of communications relays in the area. If our operative can get close enough and access the relay using the encryption keys they acquired from Exalt's data, they should be able to temporarily disrupt the enemy's comm network. Yes, thank you for sharing that bit of information. Right One in down. Right in the kisser. And good enough shot on the rocket boy. See you in hell. Right, is there another comm relay any closer that you can get to? Yes, you can get to that one. Yes, Commander. Hopefully you're not going to run into any exalt along the way. Enemy spotted. Okay, we did run into some exalt along the way. <laughs> Including one that's gone for height. Well, I don't care. Hack that. Throw them off. It will take exalt's people some time to get their communications back up and running. You now go hide in the corner. I'm on it, Commander. Okay, you move it. Go that far. You got a shot on somebody at least. It's him down. Hostile pacified. Move the gunner behind that bit of cover. Oh, he's not a gunner. He's a scout. Oops. I say. Everybody makes mistakes. I just seem to make a lot of lot more than most people. Um okay if you go there I don't have a run and gun available to me so that's as far up as you're gonna be able to move for the most part. You're gonna have a shot on somebody. Oh, the man with the rocket. And I'm going to miss him. No me lo puedo creer. Not the greatest thing that could have happened, but on my way. I could, I suppose, heal John Fowler, but I want to kill things. Hostile pacified. And you're going to go on a mass charge up to on about the there. You won't get a shot that way, but tough. You go right behind whatever that is. Oh, and you get a, guy, a shot at the guy carrying a rocket. Oh, you wounded him slightly. Assault almost has control of the encoder. If we don't stop them now, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. We have to get moving. Oh, like we have to get moving. I couldn't have done any more moving. Well, I could, I guess. I could have just run there without shooting people. But I'm doing a mass charge. Oh, and of course I packed one of their uh -huh. um, com relays, so they heading there now. Had to all reload. Right. We now have control of the impact. Oh no, we don't. We have partial. We stopped the hack for the moment, and now. We have control of the encoder back. <laughs> Moving out. So now we can defend the encoder. That's the same amount of damage you did him last time. Will do. Go hide behind the wall. I'll get to get a shot at the guy with the rocket. Well, he's almost dead. Tough little guy, that one. Let's use your last of your ammunition to finish him off. Negativo. Okay, now if we go hide behind that, so the guy that I saw climb up the roof earlier... Oh, there's two of them. Okay, well, shoot whichever one matters. 
You get two shots because you have the whatever the perk is that says you can shoot someone within four tiles without. <laughs> Yes, I don't know what you're complaining about. Aye, I'm aye. sure it was a valid complaint. Right. And you just reload. And you overwatch. There he is. Bad shooting with a with a pistol. Oh, of Got course. Him. She must have the perk that um, you get multiple shots when you're in Overwatch. Approaching strike one's position. Yes. Unfortunately, the encoder is not in a good place to defend because if you're protected by one wall, you're liable to be shot in the back by somebody else. Heading there now. Let's rock. Really, you've got a shot on somebody. Yeah, not much of a shot. However, how close can you get to him? Yeah, not close enough. You stay right there. Because you're dying. Now I could go and hack this encoder and shoot the guy in the back, so I might as well... Oh, not encoder. Transmitter. Or transmitter. Whatever these things are called. Enemy communications are down. That should keep Exalt busy for a while. Alright. Oh good, you've got a shot on somebody. Okay, the man that's got you flanked. Rolling so, go find a bit better cover. And now shoot him. You, however, I'll leave you a tad exposed, but I have the capability of getting up there and shooting him in the head from point blank range. Goodbye. Running dry. Hoorah! You reload. You reload. Okay, I'm not that? entirely sure where that guy is. Oh, there he is. You're doing quite well with your pistol, mate. Negative ammo. I'm spent. Seriously, you want to come and... Alright, you want to stand out in the open? To flank us. Your choice. I'm good with you standing out in the open like an idiot. You can reload. Let's do this. Position confirmed. Lock and load it. I'm expecting more exalt troops to be landing. Good to go. Hostile contacts closing on strike one's position, Commander. I don't think he's going to live for that experience. Adieu. <laughs> Adieu. Okay, there was one left somewhere. Can you hit him from there with that? Sure, go for it. Oh, no, sure. a threat. I wasn't overly expecting that to work, but... You can just overwatch with your wonderful pistol. Alright, please finish him off. Good. There should be everybody who's currently on the map dead. So it's just a matter of waiting for them to send some more people to, to be sacrificed. The 
Looks like this is the last of the hostile reinforcements, Commander. We just need to hold out a little longer. I thought you landed right on top of me. No longer a threat. Okay, that one survived. Well, they sent five. And the guy with a pistol has hit every shot so far. Which is truly surprising. Right. Well, you've got a nice easy shot on him. I'll take that one purely because we get a second shot automatically. Off. You've got a flanking shot on somebody. For him. Goodbye. Have a nice day. No I think you just blew down a bit of the wall. You've got an easy shot to kill him. Let you try you try and finish this guy with your pistol. You won't, but you did manage right. to hurt him. That's the guy I was looking for. Go, go run up there and shoot him in the head. I think that should be everybody. The transmitter is secure, and it looks like that was the last of Exalt's forces in the area. Excellent work. Well, that was the Exalt mission. Like I say, I, normally on that one, I stand by the transmitter and let them come to, come to me. That time, I did it slightly differently than how I'd normally would. It worked out, although John Fowler probably doesn't feel that way about it. As he... Took rather a lot of damage. He's now wounded for 41 days. Right, got three people promoted. Okay, will to survive is damage reduction. Executioner is plus 10 aim plus gun critical chance when health is below 50%. Or ranger perk. I'm going to go with executioner for you. My New Zealander is going to get lock and load. I explained those two. I explained the choice between these three on a previous video, so. And this is one I haven't seen before. Tactical Sense. Confers plus five defense per enemy in sight. Maximum plus twenty. Bring them on. Confers bonus damage on critical hits with additional bonuses up to six based on how many enemies your squad can see. Sprinter. Went plus four mobility, roughly three tiles of movement. Yeah, we'll take that. Poor John Fowler. Oh, okay, I got $270. Panic reduced by one in Mexico. And encoder and transmitter both recovered, hence the credit bonus earned. But, earned. <laughs> I had trouble pronouncing that for a second. Earned, earned. Um earned, if it was earned to the bit on the end. Riley Godfather Pritchard gets promoted. He's a scout, so he gets battled now. And my voice is going again. Intel decrypted. Possible exalt base locations narrowed. Right, that gives me a large chunk of money. No foundry projects I can currently do. Building of facilities, so anything that I want to build. And build a fission generator, which I'm probably going to need to do because I'm running out of power and I haven't researched Illyrium yet. Do it while I think about it. So to build anything else, I'm going to need more power, and I need need to research Illyrium to get the Illyrium generator. And I forgot where I was going and why. I had a th oh, so I had a stray thought. Apart from the fact I could do with hiring some more troops, the officer training school is tempting. It is tempting, however, 
That would be eight. I tell them twelve. We're going to hire as many troops as we can afford because I need to get some more rookies trained up now before the later game when they're just going to start losing people en masse. But that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, well, I can only suggest you try and find joy somewhere else in your life. And hopefully I'll see you down the road.